matches just went off? Yeah, it's like it has something to do with friction, I guess. Spontaneous friction. I mean, they just went off. And I'm standing there in line for a movie, and all of a sudden, just wham! Whoa! Like that, you know? It scared the shit out of me. I had a third degree burn on my leg. It was this close to my dick. The characters of the film Heart 8 are all characters of a sketchy past, but this past is not getting between the goals of those characters and what they must do in a specific crisis. Heart 8 is a crime film that follows a young Reno gambler as he learns how to maneuver his way into a lot of money at the help from an older gentleman, and he also gets married to a hooker as the security at the casino start to you know, learn about the situation, who's tied to who. Solid Crime Flick came out in 1996, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, who's the director who directed Boogie Nights, There Will Be Blood, Magnolia, etc. Phantom Thread is his most recent film from 2017. So, spoiler warning before I get into the film's gritty details. This is a good analysis video of Heart 8 and how it deals with the characters' past. The film starts with an older gentleman named Sidney. He goes off to a character played uh, by John C. Riley. And then his character in the film is called John. So Sidney goes up to John, offers him a coffee and cigarette after seeing him sad on the ground right next to a diner. He ends up taking him uh, to Vegas after a conversation at a diner about, you know, what's going on. And uh, he teaches him how to make a lot of money gambling. So um, Sidney tells John how to get a lot of money so he can get money for his parents' funeral. Two years later, after, you know, the funeral thing's over with, they're at Reno. Uh, which is also in Las Vegas. I mean, which is also in Nevada. And um, they're at another casino pulling the same tricks, except they befriend Clementine, who was a waitress there. They also befriend a uh, you know security guy there called uh, you know Jimmy, who's played by Samuel Jackson. Clementine is played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Sidney at night goes out for a cigarette and sees Clementine leave a hotel room after having sex with a man at the restaurant for money. She realize uh, Sidney realizes. He, she was a prostitute. What Sydney did is ask her about this situation, then realize she doesn't have a good environment at home, and she's doing this, you know, she's got to save up for things. She, she doesn't have a good financial situation. So what Sydney does brings, you to, brings Clementine to her apartment, not for sex, but to offer her food and to go shopping with Sydney's younger protege, John. John and Clementine get married. John, uh, you know, John was fine with her past as a hooker. Didn't let that get to him and get through their love, which is what's very interesting about John and Clementine's relationship. After hostage situation later in the film, where she captures a man who didn't pay for her sex, she promises to stop being a prostitute, and Clementine and John, uh, after get married, go to Niagara Falls for a honeymoon. Sydney sees the situation as finished, between John and uh, Clementine, and they're off on their own, finished meaning it's not in Reno anymore. They're going to Niagara with their love for their honeymoon. But Samuel L. Jackson's character. Jimmy knows a piece of information uh, about the fact that Sidney killed John's parents. You know? Whoa. Um, Sidney then kills Jimmy and that piece of information as a whole. Um... What I see from this is, uh, you know, John accepted Clementine's past. Samuel didn't. What did that happen for Samuel? He demanded money for that uh, piece of information to be quiet. And, uh, you know, Sidney, he killed, he killed uh, Samuel Jackson's character, uh, Jimmy. So, basically what I'm saying is that, you know, when the characters didn't bury the piece of information that was going on in the past, bad things happen. But when they do bury that piece of information, good things happen, which is what we see from John and Clementine. So, you know, the whole movie, Sidney had been helping John make money to help himself feel less bad about killing his parents, to move on from the past. The theme of this movie is about the characters moving on from their bad past, since the audience is already exposed to this theme through the Clementine character. The piece of information about Sidney killing John's parents before helping his life is less jarring. Overall, Hard Eight is a solid flick, and I hope you enjoyed my analysis of this great film. Have a great day. 
Thanks for watching. Any content on Mike Media Inc. Incorporated, subscribe, like, and share. And, uh, you know, get this awesome content that I'm putting out for you guys out into the world. And I will keep on making it. Get these views up. Post it on your story. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.